Good day friends, today we are back in Roblox build a boat for treasure and I have a challenge, okay? I have a challenge to build using this block. This is my challenge today, okay? I will use only this block because today I will not build anything in my house that will be real, that will be there forever. Today I'm just going to draw the lines of where I want my house and all the rooms to be. So I'm just going to put these blocks everywhere in lines to sort of draw where what I want the house to look like. Because in the last video you guys really liked the statue and the biggest idea that or the, the idea that the most people said was are you actually going to build a house because this series is actually build a house and we haven't built the house yet. So let's actually get started on that. So yeah, if I'm getting started, of course I've got it. Get my dino head. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, first off, I don't want it to start like right here. Oh, the till is actually quite over here. Okay, you can still walk by without <laughs> having the till slap you in the face. Okay, maybe I should have made the till a little higher. Hmm, I'm not really sure. Anyway, so here the path. I'm probably maybe going to continue the path a little bit this way. And then there will be like staircase that's what i think so i will have a little bit of stairs leading up to the front door i think that will look cool okay so this first part will be stairs and then this will be flat and you will be standing on this and then you will be looking at the front door okay i hope you guys kind of get the picture because i'm drawing this out just from my head just to see what it will feel like. Okay, it has to be symmetrical. That's one of the most important parts. It has to be symmetrical. All right, so I actually got the shape sort of like I wanted it. So let's see. So here you have a little stair going up. Then you're standing on this flat area and then you have the door and you go in. Let's build the rooms. I guess maybe this will be a pretty wide entrance hall, I think. A pretty wide entrance hall. So the walls will be here. This is, this is where I will put the walls, I think. Is this a big enough for a door? Let's say if you have a door that goes from one room to the next, but in a very big mansion and it's not, it doesn't even have a door in it. It's more like an opening in the wall. I think this would be nice, pretty big. Or should I make it even bigger? I think it would be dramatic if I made it even bigger than this. Hmm, unless if I make it really high, really tall, big wall. Maybe I can do that, I guess. I'm not really sure. 10 blocks wide door, like all the way like this. Hmm, that's a super big door, but I want it to be a super big, almost like a palace. So big. So you know what? Let's make a door that's 10 blocks wide, like this. There we go. That's going to be awesome. So this is the door. Let's say this is the door you get in. Here you have an entrance hall and then on both sides you have big stairs that go up like here. You have big stairs that go up to an area that is over here. So then when I would be standing here I would be higher. I would be like 
maybe like this high. I would be pretty high up. And that would be the upstairs area, but I will think about that later. First, I'm going to think about this. This entrance hall is super big. So then here you get in. Uh, maybe like a living room. I guess this could be a living room area. Okay, okay, okay. This is going to be toilets and kitchen. So I will need to make maybe... Hmm, let's see. How am I going to make this? The toilet doesn't have to be so big. So this could just be the toilet like this. Okay, so then here you have the living area, right? It's very big. Then sometimes you have to use the toilet. So then here you have a toilet, little toilet for everyone. And then here, this is where the kitchen is. This is going to be the kitchen. It will have like an oven and all these tables that you can prepare food on. And this could be like an extra little, tiny little bit of storage space because it's not very nice. It's not square, it's just a triangle space so it's just a small space for some extra storage okay i think that's a pretty good idea okay maybe wait maybe this could be the kitchen okay now i'm not really sure i wanted this to be the dining part and that to be the living part so if this is the dining part, then it makes more sense that this is the kitchen because you need to prepare the food where you're eating it, right? So this could be this could be the dining part where you have a dining room where you have big long tables for when I have a hundred guests over. Let's say if I would have a hundred guests. So I need a big and long table where everyone can eat. And then this is the kitchen where the food is prepared. Then here's the bathroom. So I guess it's kind of like that, but the other way around. But then I would have to change the meaning of these rooms. You guys have to help me decide what every room is, okay? What rooms do I need that I'm forgetting? Some of you guys have ideas for good rooms as well. I'm going to fill this in for now because I hadn't really calculated exactly where the door would be. So I'm just going to leave this closed for now. So if this is just a living room kind of area where you can just sort of sit, maybe watch TV, that kind of stuff, just living room stuff. Then you don't need the kitchen right next to it, I think. Let's see, I don't know what rooms I'm forgetting, so tell me if I'm forgetting about any rooms. But I really like the shape of this. Okay, so, and a lot of things, and I also have to think about all the other things that you guys have suggested. Some of you have suggested a, a pool, so I guess the pool could be in the backyard. Here could be maybe a backyard, and maybe an extra part, that we, maybe like a boathouse with a little boat in it. That would be funny, just a really small boat, a boathouse with a small boat. This would be the backyard, so I guess I could have a pool here, or we could have a pool upstairs, or an indoor pool. That would be absolutely crazy. I'm not sure, but I will make what you guys want, and yeah, let's see, this would be the front. Of course, next to the house, we would have all these nice little plants. The garden would be beautiful, just like these uh, trees over here, just putting plants everywhere. I think it's going to be absolutely awesome. And I might have to put uh, Chomper's house in stair, uh, inside because otherwise she's just locked out of the house. That would be really sad. So she can live in the house. Maybe she deserves her own room. Oh, and I need a guest room for when people are coming over. I need that too. Oh, so many rooms that I have to make. But I don't have that much time today. So tell me what you think about the design of the house so far. And apart from that, I hope you're having an awesome day. Don't forget to stomp. Like a dancer.